Hi and welcome to another art journal video. Today I'm working on a two-page layout on my stone paper journal and I'm going to start by applying some acrylic paint on my background. I'm going to first start with turquoise which I'm going to use to cover up completely both pages. I'm not doing anything fancy here, just covering up both pages with the acrylic paint. Remember this is stone paper, so it takes paint beautifully, it's not going to bleed at the back and it's not going to warp. Now, today's project is super easy to recreate, if you are a beginner this is a great project for you. So once I have completely covered up both pages and I made sure that this layer is dry, I'm going over it with white and a brayer. It's one of my favorite go-to techniques, it really adds some interest on an otherwise flat background, it adds some visual texture and at the same time it kind of knocks back the vibrancy of any color in your background. I do have some leftover white paint so I can dilute it with water and add some extra splatters which is something that I always love on my backgrounds. And now it's time to do some stamping. For this I'm using my Elements stamp set. This is from my first release and it's one of my favorite stamp sets ever. Perfect for backgrounds. And I'm using the Crackle stamp. I'm using my black ink and I'm just stamping here and then in different areas. I'm not trying to get the perfect impression with the stamp. That's why I'm using my fingers. This way I don't end up with a rectangle of crackle. I just uh, feel that it gives a more organic look if you do it this way. And now let's add even more interest on the background by using a stencil. This time I'm going with volume paste over my stencil and I'm going to end up with lots of text in different areas. When you are using a stencil make sure that you don't uh, cover it up completely with paste, just go randomly in different areas so you don't end up with a complete impression of the stencil. It always looks better when it is random. Using a stencil on a background always adds some visual texture and interest and if you use volume paste or any other modeling paste it adds extra volume at the same time so there's always something interesting to look at the background. When I'm happy with the amount of this texture that I have I'm going to leave this aside to dry and in the meantime let's do some fuzzy cutting. My focal points today come from the Desire collection and you can see here the pad with the backgrounds. There is also the main pad as well as this one which are the collectibles and this is a cutout uh, booklet where you can find lots and lots of elements to fuzzy cut. Now back to the main project, I am going to ink up the edges with black just to give them a darker border. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the edges of all my cutouts. So you see here I have cut out already my guitar. I did cut out the couple which is dancing as well as a bunch of flowers and leaves. If you don't like fuzzy cutting you can definitely use the ephemera pack to find images there. However, this big image of the couple is really striking since it is a big focal point and it's going to make an impact on a page. You can find it on the 12 by 12 paper pad or you can find it as big as uh, you see it here on the collectibles. So now it's time to uh, put together my composition. I'm starting with the guitar on the side and I'm going to chop off the excess. I like to have elements coming out of the page, but you can definitely stick the guitar on top of the page without cutting anything. I am also going to use this lace on the other side. Now with this same couple but in a smaller size I did a similar page on my mini art journal and I did post it here on my YouTube channel as well as on my Instagram account. It uh, is really fun when you are able to play with different sizes of the same image when you have the different pads. So on the 6x6 pad this is going to be tiny which is perfect for a similar looking card or a mini art journal. On the 12 by 12 one you will find this huge couple which is great for an art journal or even a canvas. By the way, I'm sticking everything down with my matte glue and I'm not going to go over the images and cover them up and seal them down just because the techniques that I'm going for today don't require that. On the left page I'm going to embellish it a little bit with the extra leaves and flowers that I have cut out, just creating a little flower composition there. 
to add some interest and to actually bring that red color in this side of the layout, since I do have lots of red on the dress on the right page. It's always nice to find ways to somehow balance the composition on your layouts, which really brings the two pages together. So here I'm using my white gel pen and just adding some highlights here and there, just some sketchy lines, which I absolutely love. Now there is a very simple and easy way to add shadows with a very stiff brush. If you touch your black ink pad and do what I'm doing here, you will find that they are very soft and they really make a difference, helping all the elements pop against each other. I'm not going to overdo it with black, but it really makes a difference. I also added some black splatters all over the place as well as some white ones and I always like to add a quote on my art journals so for this one I went with do it with passion or not at all I decided to go for the word passion with uh, cut out letters in black I used one of my alphabet ties to cut them out and I'm just gluing them down letter by letter the way I'm sticking them down, I make sure that the word passion goes across the two pages, which is another great tip to bring the two pages together. Now for the rest of my quote, I like to use my label maker and uh, I do have a refill, which is white letters on top of black. I'm going to link that below because I get a lot of questions about that. It's really handy, but keep in mind that I wasn't able to find it in a very thin strip. This is quite white, so I usually like to use my scissors to trim off the top and the bottom. I also like my label maker just because it's so handy to have. I don't have to go to my computer and print out a whole page for just one quote. Plus, it's very easy to peel off. There is a separation at the back making it really easy. So I'm going to stick them down to complete my phrase and then with my white gel pen I'm going to outline the two labels. I'm also going to add some highlights on the letters, bringing them more to life as well. And I'm going to finish off my page by creating a little border with a very thin black marker. I'm not being perfect here, I'm just drawing some sketchy lines. So that was the project for today. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired. Here are some close-up photos. Links to everything I used can be found down below, just like always. Thank you all for joining me and I'll see you all next time.